okay today i am going to uh, show one uh, scenario like uh, in the purchase order how to manage minimum quantity order okay so this you you guys know about might be you know about this process but let me give more detailed info on that so i'll just refer existing uh, purchase order to just replicate the scenario so i'll just copy this and i'll go to this option create and I just add here purchasing document with the line item number and just get copy the details. Okay, see here, I have a 50 quantity. It is picked up automatically from the previous purchase order. Okay, so you can see here uh, that that uh, consists of uh, purchasing info record also with the combination of the vendor and material combination with respect to the purchase organization. So if I open this, purchase organ uh, info record you can find this info record maintained okay what i'll do is uh, instead of ordering 50 now ordering 50 i want only 20 each okay and just uh, changing the quantity like user try to change the quantity here okay but suddenly system will throw an error okay suddenly it will throw an error and user is completely uh, new to the system and uh, he has got only training how to create purchase order and you just copy the details and create PO. And he, he or she was not aware about this particular uh, error. Even they see this message number and all, they don't understand. Like they will not be able to and handle it. If the person is completely new to SAP, he, is, he never used SAP, but trained on some process. Okay, create this, this data and just they follow the steps to be created in the system. So in this situation, how you educate an end user? Okay. That was, there is no, uh, uh, like directly they'll raise a ticket to a, a support team and they ask you to please help on this scenario, how to handle this process. Okay. So as a consultant, yeah, uh, uh, if you look into this immediately, you understand, oh, this is minimum order quantity 50 each from info record. The end user is not knowing about what is master data, right? So they were not sure uh, ever about the master data, which is there. They might be knowing about material number, how to view it, and somewhere some details, okay? So you have to educate them, okay? Why this, uh, this error is coming and how you can fix it. Because until unless you are not ordering 50 number, system will keep on throwing error. If I enter here, see, if I check it, there is no error. Everything is warning only. When I enter 40 also, they'll try with different quantity. So it is showing an error, okay? So what you should educate, educate user is like, you have to open them and show, take their system control and open this info record and explain them. This is the info record. This is a data maintained by master data team. If you're not aware about this, this is a combination of vendor, material, purchase organization, mental group, all this combination you can find here, minimum quantity to be ordered for this particular requirement in the sense whenever you order this material okay minimum this much must to be ordered or else system will not allow you to create any view so if they are uh, that user is uh, not ready to uh, uh, create PO more than 50 or 50 number uh, like he or she will come and say no i want to create 20 number only i want to create 50 it is not required so then internally they can connect with the master data team. And this data might be maintained sometime back and it is not updated this uh, quantity. Then they can take an approval or something to change the uh, info record and they can change the minimum quantity for the current month or maybe this year, something. This data is maintained last year info record. For that last year, they wanted to uh, procure only 50 number with this vendor, with this material. Just I'm just giving an example. So what they can do is they can raise a request and then this problem can be solved by going through this uh, info record. Okay, copy this and get into ME12, so ME12. And here you should add the vendor number, plus the vendor number. I just went, I'll just copy the vendor number from here. Copy the vendor number and material number. So the info record who has access to ME12, they can go to this particular screen and they can change to 
minimum they can order 20 also you save it okay when now user will go and uh, create again the data in the system create and then copy the previous view quickly to get the data and they can create with 20 now so there is no error in the system if they try to create 15 system will not allow to create less than 20 number that's it so in case if they don't want to uh, uh, save this uh, like they don't want to uh, cancel this view they can save it they can save like holding this view okay they can hold the view and they can update us this is a PO we have hold in the system with this this error can you fix it they can ask us so that then definitely the consultant will help them to educate them how to manage to create a PO. then that time you can explain them okay minimum you create 20 number and this error will be solved and then save it this PO will be transferred to the vendor that's it Thank you. And another one uh, I want to show you uh, one scenario like uh, how to create a cost centered purchase order. So this scenario, you should know how to manage cost centered PO. Okay, I'll, I'll take one PO from the system. So cost centered PO, how to check the cost centered PO item this account assignment category you should take as k and uh, try to put the document date of this month if any data is there with this particular month with this uh, cost center okay i'll just take the alv list and execute so if any data is there in the system with this particular duration and you can able to see there are many cost centered POs are created in the systems. I'll take one example of cost centered PO. This is the aprons, okay? The aprons to be procured uh, from the outside, from the, from the vendor, which is indirect procurement. It is not a direct procurement. You're not going to, you're not going to do business with this. It is directly consumed whenever you purchase for this particular plant and uh, with the company code, okay, TGSC and uh, this is a purchase organization so how what all the details to be maintained when you create a cost center po is majorly the gl account cost center number and profit center these details you can find in the cost center PO. okay how to recreate this i can recreate this by going through hemi 21 and and I create here, I can copy the PO and I can recreate or I can add the details of vendor, uh, this org data, all that I can take. So example, I just copy this and go to this header level, copy it, and then copy this vendor master, enter, then take the material here, enter here, account as key, it lasts for the plant number, TSB. Okay, quantity it is asking, I can say 100 number I want and location where exactly to be stored in TSB. You should find out which is the raw or something finished. I can say this is the finished product which is purchased from outside. Okay, then it's asking for the GL account, here see. So you can maintain GL account automatically also because um, See here, I'm using a material number. Without material number, also I can create a uh, uh, purchase order. So in the cost center PO, it is not required to enter any material number. If you don't enter the material number, then material group is mandatory, and system will identify the details of GL accounts and all. You can maintain with respect to material group also to pick up the GL account automatically in the cost center PO. But now I am just maintaining. Uh, this data here, copy paste and maintain here. Sorry, cost center and this is a GL account. Okay, now see after entering the GL account and cost center, system auto automatically picked up the controlling area and profit center, which is belong to that uh, combination. Okay, now once you save it, 
Okay, this is a standard. Uh, now it's indirect purchase order, which I created in the system. Now, if you get into my go and uh, receive the goods, okay. So here, when you get into the where option, right? So you don't find any store location. Even in the PO level, the document uh, type, uh, whatever NB it is, right? So there the field was mandatory to enter store location. But when you talk about any indirect procurement process or the, the material which is not used for any business, it is for the consumption. You can consume it directly or in the plant, there are like 100 employees are there and they need in a workshop, need to wear aprons. So that is used for the employees benefit. Okay, so there is no business or any profit generation out of it. But system will identify which cost center is going to incur cost on that. Okay, now if you click on the account assignment, you can find this GL account, this business area, profit center, cost center and profit center. All the details will pick it from the PO automatically. Now I'll check it, item okay, and check it, and then post it. So this gen, uh, it will generate the material document. Now I'll immediately display this material document number. Okay, enter. Then here you can find document info and who's, who's entered this uh, 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 GR and a date, time, everything will display. And here you can see the transaction code. Even you're using MyGo transaction to do the GR. So MyGo underscore GR will be the the transaction which is for goods received. Okay, in case of goods issue, it will be myGo underscore GI. Okay, now I click on FI document. It will be having accounting document here. And you can see here, in case of, sorry, in case of indirect procurement, cost centered view, always you can find these account entries. And in the sense, transaction event key will be KBS and WRX. And KBS is what? It's a consumption of raw material, which is hitting the GL account 400000, which is maintained in the PO level. Okay, so that will show you this much of cost is incurred to purchase this to get the goods, and this much need to be clear. GRIR clearance will be there. So once you create a invoice definitely you can understand what would be the the accounting or maybe the transaction event key will be there i'll just copy this purchase order and i'll go to miro and i'll just add this purchase order to clear now it's asking for the date i'll just enter the date here date invoice date 17 march okay this is the cost of the uh, goods which we have received. Enter. Then check it. Okay, check it, simulate. Everything is good, showing us uh, green here, balance is zero and the price will be entered here. And you can see here, the particular GL account, which is to be paid, the vendor, uh, GL account, like you can see there are like two account. One is what, K is what, K is what? It's a vendors always. You'll have, there are five entries of account type. A, D, K, M, S. If it is material M, if it is GL account S, if it is a vendors then K, okay? So it's a vendor account. Okay, K means vendor and S means it's a, the goods GRIR clearance which I shown in the GR term, it was, minus negative and it's now positive okay and you can see which is the purchasing order there's a purchasing document number you can see here and item item number also is there and here you can go into post now for this account once i post this see document number 90625 is generated created okay so now i open this mir4 i'll display the invoice document there will be a follow on documents just click on this and you can see the accounting document for the 
invoice posted. KBS will be the account number is this, and and this is the cost amount to be paid to the vendor, and this is the GRIR clearance nullifying the account. From where this account is picking up, when you open this purchase order, KME twenty three N. I open this purchase order, which I created now, and you can see the history of that. Goods receipt is done, and invoice also posted, and this is the quantity and cost. Everything is showing in the history. Now this is the vendor number, one zero two three double two. You can see that one zero two three double two. So once I open this battery of supply vendor, and you can see there are informations are maintained. Like what is the order currency terms of payment everything? I'll open this in a SK03. This is an ECC, not in a HANA system. Okay, just uh, you just uh, refer this. I'll choose all the views here. Okay, enter, and I'll show you how this vendor master is maintained. What are the details are maintained? See, this is the reconciliation account. Three one zero zero zero. This is a five digit. Where exactly this five digit will come into picture? When you open, okay, I'll just open the PO. Go to history and open the GR number here, and go to FI document and accounting document. So here you can see the GR, sorry, uh, the account which is picked up KBS four double zero triple zero, and WRX is picked up from the OBOSCT. In the OBIC, this WRX is maintained for GRIR clearance. So, in case of uh, like what I can say, if you are talking about direct procurement, then always you can find this reconciliation account in the clearance time. But now, now it is like what? It's an indirect procurement, right? So, where I can see in the invoice time, if you go to follow on documents. Accounting documents, and you can find here, okay, one zero two three double two is a vendor number, okay, which has GL account three one zero zero. So this is the three one double triple zero you can find in the vendor master reconciliation account. So when I go to this accounting info, this details. So you you will be wondered like why we are entering the reconciliation account during creation of vendor master. This reconciliation account you can find in the inside of the uh, the posted uh, vendor details. You can find this is a GL account. This is a doc document number five three zero nine seven. This is amount. This is a tax code. Everything you can find in this. And if you want to see any additional data, you can go through this additional data. Any any valuation difference is there. Uh, any currency group currency hard currency there are different details are there which is understood by a finance uh, person okay and also if you want to see something general ledger view you can see look into this general ledger view okay where you can find gen general ledger uh, 0l and this is document number fiscal year and which period everything will be shown here if you have any other, other general ledger you can look into this uh, list always you click on this other ledger and there you can find any ledger selection is there. Le leading ledger, IAS, local, something. You can go with 0L, 1L, 2L, like that. You can go with the different uh, ledger account. Okay. Thank you. Then hope this is clear for all. Uh, we have covered, uh, I have covered today one uh, issue how to solve that issue. And another is like cost centered PO, how to manage the cost centered PO end to end uh, process. So next time I'll be adding a few more details about how to. Uh, pick up the GL account automatically in the cost centered view from where you should maintain the GL account for the metal group. Everything I will share in next video. Thank you.